this was a lesson on has, have and had with all the rules in the easiest manner possible. Now you're going to use them in the correct way whenever you construct a sentence. Hello everybody, how are you all? Hope you're doing great. So welcome back to another session of learning English and improving your English with me. Today is going to be another lesson in our basic grammar series. The basic grammar that is required for you to speak fluent English. We need basic grammar concepts so that we can construct good sentences when we speak English. Proper sentences. Today is going to be lesson number 4, day 4 of learning grammar. And today's topic is something that's too common. Has have and had how to use them properly how to use them correctly i'm going to tell you everything about it in a very simple manner the easiest lesson possible so are you all ready for this i'm shivangi gupta your CELTA certified english language tutor certified by the university of cambridge the uk and before beginning please subscribe the channel so that you can get all the lessons that i post for you on the channel Please like the video and share it with your friends too. Now coming back to today's lesson, has, have and had. Our basic English verbs that we need to learn in order to speak correct English. See, has, have and had. They all are the forms of to have verb. To have verb. We conjugate it. Conjugate is to change the form of the verb according to the subject according to the tense so we conjugate this verb and we get all these three forms of the verb to have to have right so to have is basically a verb which means to possess something or to own something for example i have a macbook i have a journal i have a pen so i have have is to own something to possess something now there is another usage of this particular verb have and that is to express the perfect tense in English the perfect tense so we have present perfect past perfect and future perfect and we use has have and had as auxiliary verbs in the perfect tense with the main verb for example she has gone to the market. So she has gone to the market. So we are using it as an auxiliary verb. That is the helping verb with the verb, the main verb, gone. That is our perfect tense. Present perfect tense. So we use these three verbs in the perfect tense too. Today I am going to tell you how to use them as main verbs and also how to use them as the helping verbs. We are not going to complicate it by saying perfect tense, this tense, that tense. No, it's going to be a very simple lesson. So simply, first of all, you have to know that has and have, they are the forms of present tense. Present tense of this verb, has and have. Present tense. Okay, now let's cover has and have first and then we are going to talk about the verb had. So the verb has. Has is used with singular subjects, singular nouns and pronouns. For example, he, she and it. He, she and it, right? He has a pen. He has a house. She has a book. She has made a chocolate cake. She has made a chocolate cake. Now, she has made a chocolate cake. When we are simply using it as a main verb, we will use she has a pen that means possession now she has made a chocolate cake that means a perfect tense so in perfect tense remember we always use the third form of verb with has we always use the third form of verb with has has plus v3 she has made a chocolate cake so she has made he has gone to the market has gone has plus verbs third form 
right now let's come to have have is similar in usage to has it's totally similar the difference is that have is used with i you we and they that means plural subjects i you and all the plural subjects so i you we they and if you have more than one person you're talking about more than one person you're talking about a group you will use have with this particular subject right have for example they have a nice car they have a big house we have a beautiful painting at our home i have an apple macbook pro i have so many books you have a nice pair of shoes so you i they we we will use have now similarly if you're using it as an auxiliary verb right in the perfect tense for example they have done their homework they have done their homework have done again with have we are using verbs third form remember in the perfect tense we will use have and verbs third form right have plus v3 similar to has exactly similar to has the difference is of singular and plural always remember that now let's come to had well had is the past tense of have the past tense of have so we use had in only past perfect tenses or we are talking about simple past tense simply we are talking about past tense so we'll use had that's the main verb and if you're talking about past perfect tense we will use had plus verbs third form remember for all the perfect tenses the rule is same a form of to have verb with verbs third form so we are talking about past tense so had plus verbs third form right so let's cover all the sentences and before that let me tell you that had is used with all the subjects all the subjects i you we they he she it all the subjects regardless all the subjects so it's same for plural singular all the subjects we will use had okay let's look at all the example sentences i had the keys with me but then i gave them to you they had a dog named bruno she had a beautiful pencil box he had an electric guitar in his college days so she had he had they had we had now if we are talking about that perfect tense they had completed all their work i noticed she had finished her work i had noticed she had finished that means had plus verbs third form when i arrived she had already gone to the market had gone so gone that means verbs third form had plus v3 right so this is how you are going to use have has and had how to use them as main verbs and how to use them as helping verbs in the perfect tense we have learned a lot today covered them in the simplest manner possible no complexities you need to remember which subject to use and how to use them in a sentence in order to form correct sentences that's very important so this was a lesson on has have and had with all the rules in the easiest manner possible now you're going to use them in the correct way whenever you construct a sentence so that is it for today that's it i'm going to meet you again in a new lesson till then everybody take care and bye